Now, if you, you sure say that squid stains, you sure someone shit themselves? No, <laughs> you never know. They could have. Converse. Uh, uh, I reckon you've, <laughs> you, I know you've done that a few times, haven't you, Cameron? Yeah, I sharted. Yeah, a bit too many. <laughs> happens to the best of us, I think. It does. It does There's indeed. Nothing so. to be ashamed about wearing diapers but. at your age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you're my twin, so you shouldn't be far off from me anyway, so. No, probably not, no. Yeah. Well, hey guys, I'm Cameron. Scott. Scott, and then apparently a few of you been getting a bit confused, not realizing we're actually twins. But, you know, I thought we'd just properly introduce ourselves anyway, as we've already done. So hopefully that solves all the confusion that you guys have all had. Anyway, today, if you can't tell, we're fishing the Bustleton Jetty, hopefully for some massive squid, some horses. What do you call them, Scott? Behemoths. Behemoths. Hopefully we get some behemoth squid. Um, and possibly have a good feed. Yeah, why not? Why Let's not, eh? Sure. But you, you, you know what they say about this jetty, Scott? Oh, it's the world's longest timber decking. World's longest? <laughs> nah, I don't know about that one. Oh, in the southern he hemisphere, right? Eh? That's it. It's almost two kilometres long, um, which isn't isn't bad. No, nah, but the bastards couldn't even build it in a straight line. They couldn't, it's no. It's curved. Nah. So. Oh, well, what can you do? Try, anyway. try again. Anyway, we'll see you when we get the first squid. Hey Scott, what do you reckon? Looks like a good spot to go for a squid? Looks like a good spot to me, I think. Do you know the number one tail, I think, to follow when you're squid fishing? Always look for the marks on the jetty. You got squid stains. Now, if I'm you sure say squid stains, you sure someone need to shit themselves? No, <laughs> you never know. They could have. Converse. Uh, I, I reckon you've, you, I know you've done that a few times, haven't you, Cameron? Yeah, I sharted. Yeah, a bit too many. <laughs> happens but, to the best of us, I think. It does. It does indeed. Nothing so. to be ashamed about wearing diapers but. at your age. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you're my twin, so you shouldn't be far off from me anyway. So. No, probably not. No. Yeah. Anyway, enough talk. Let's get this jigs in the water, eh? Yeah. Why not? Taking a while, and he's only just working up. I might back off the drag a little bit, just in case. He's certainly a long way out. I think I've plunked the jig on his head. But he still hasn't even started going yet. Oh, Twenty little pulses. Should be a nice squid. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's on the surface. Not bad. Excited. It's been a while. We've been fishing for about an hour now and no squid. But you know, it takes a while sometimes to oh, nice big lunges. I love it. Gets me excited. The fun part's getting it, you know. As it's you're a good five, ten meters up here, I reckon. Five, probably five meters. Probably exaggeration a little bit, but that's okay. A bit like a three meter floody. So what we'll do, we'll bring him to the jetty. Can you see him there, Scott? Not bad size calamari, really. So what I'm going to do, if you can just hold, hold my the rod, rod for you. hold the rod, I'm going to get the gaff. Oh. 
Hallo, Herr Punktem hier. Bring him up nice and slow. As you can see, that's a beautiful calamari. Anyway, <laughs> we'll get the chick back in the water and get another one. Well guys, I'll just let you know with what I'm doing and all that. So I've just cast my squid jig out, letting it sink a little bit, and then every now and then, I'm getting a bit of a pulse. Hopefully a squid finds that a bit attractive, picks it up, and we've got some more squid rings on the plate for tomorrow. As you can see, the sun's going down, which is kind of disappointing. The squid fishing's been a bit slow. Um, would have liked to a few more, but that's okay, you can't win them all. The squid I did get was a horse, so I, I'm secretly pretty happy since I am one up on Scott. 2 0. 1 0. 2 0. Nah, 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 just 1 0. But that's okay. I'm sure we'll get a few more, I hope. So what do you reckon, Cameron? Your hopes fading with the sun? Oh, just a little bit. A little bit disappointing, isn't it, Cameron? You come yeah. all this way from Perth to try and find these um, monster squid. Which and we found one, but unfortunately we just can't seem to hook any more. But no. Nah. But um, still a little bit of daylight in, in the day anyway, so we'll see what he can do and uh, see if we can catch something. Yeah, well, hopefully our patience pays off. Hopefully, good hope. Yeah. If not. At least we bagged one. It was big enough to be probably three three squid if it was in Perth. Yeah, no, that's it. I couldn't agree more with you. So, so. size does matter in this in this occasion. Huh. Size always matters, skirts. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's right. Chill. We'll keep at it, and hopefully we get another one. So what we're doing is we're packing up. We're going to go back closer to shore. We're a little bit shallower, and uh, we're going to see if we can try and catch some squid there. Because hopefully, uh, work, ho hopefully it works, and hopefully it pays off. Yeah, the shallower water over the deep water, maybe. Who knows? But um, we'll see you in a sec. If we catch something, we'll let you know. Um, fingers crossed. Well, guys, a bit disappointing. Only the one horse of a squid. Yeah, well, can't but, expect it all, can you? That's it. Oh well, maybe next time we might have a bit bit of luck. Yeah, maybe, but until next time, like and subscribe. Um, we're going to come down to Bustle Twin Jetty again and uh, see how we go. Uh, catch you later. See ya.